We've learned those major earthquakes in California were actually recorded right here in El Paso. So we wanted to know what about the fault lines in our area. KTSM 9 News reporter Susie Castillo went to UTEP for the answer. 7.1 earthquake in California was recorded here at UTEP with instruments on campus. So we would record the ground shaking quite strongly here in El Paso, even though it's a distant earthquake, it's large enough. A seismograph creates waves. The taller they are, the stronger the motion. It's no longer recorded on paper it's like it was a decade ago. A needle that would be scratching it out. Now it's all recorded online. Our seismograph is located in a vault that's kind of carved back into the Sunball. Diane Doser, a geological science professor, says a seismograph on campus picks up a lot of activity no one here can feel, from California's major earthquakes to some happening in El Paso. So most people are really surprised to find out that we have some earthquakes here. Another thing people are sometimes surprised to hear is about El Paso's fault line. So here's the fault coming right through downtown. But we do have geologic evidence that there is a fault line on the east side of the Franklin Mountain. Each time you have an earthquake, you're going to uh, have the ground separate and when the Franklin Mountains are moving up and the, the Waco Valley, the Waco Bolson's moving down. However, major earthquakes that have made an impact in the terrain are extremely few compared to other parts of the country. Four earthquakes in 64,000 years is a lot different than California where they can have a magnitude 7 earthquake maybe every 20 or 30 years. Strong earthquakes can make such strong motions that they can be recorded around the world. Reporting from UTEP, Susie Castillo, KTSM 9 News.